hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl biola patty heaven so today we are doing a flower box hot hair balloon um a bubble balloon so what you need is a hat box and you need a balloon stick cup you need a glue gun so here you would see that i am sticking my balloon stick cup onto the um, base of the hat box and then you need a magazine to stick um the stick is longer than this but i cut it into two because i didn't want it to be too i didn't want the balloon to be too high so i split it into two and then you need a really good um ribbon you could use a satin ribbon this is an organza ribbon i'm using so i use my hot melt glue gun to stick the ribbon to the um base or the neck of the hat box to get your hat box you can check ebay i'm going to be putting a link of where you can get all the supplies in the description the maxi stick is um available online too i'll be putting a link some of you might have seen it in my last video so once you stick the base that is the maxi stick cup premium cup it's actually called premium i think premium cup and then the maxi sticks has its own cup so you can use the maxi sticks cups too because i've used it a couple of times you could use it to like do the base of the hat box if you wish if you can't find the premium balloon cups premium balloon stick cups sorry um so yeah and uh next i make a ribbon with the organza ribbon as you can see you don't have to add the ribbon to the base if you choose not to you could just leave the um ribbon part out next you would need floral foam the dry one if we were doing natural flower sorry if we were doing fresh flowers we would need wet floral foam but in this case we're using artificial flowers this is what you're going to be using to stick the flowers into the base of the balloon it would make um sorry the base of the hat box it will make the the flowers the roses whatever flowers you're using it would make you stay in place next week i'm going to be filming one with fresh flowers so stay tuned for that so uh next i get my bubble balloon i prefer to use bubble balloons for this because they are really clear and they are much nicer to look at compared to the deco bubble with the deco bubble i prefer to use it with helium but the bubble balloon i prefer to use it for my air filled pieces because they really look nicer because of that clear effects they have um so next i'm going to be putting feathers into the bubble balloon so i've pre-inflated my bubble balloon first this is so you could stretch the balloon then i'm using this tool that is called a castration tool to put in the feathers into the balloon this tool is used to like widen the neck of the balloon it works with latex it works with boa balloon um i'm going to be using it to like stick um flowers into the balloon too they are really good you can find them in on ebay or amazon they are called castration tools i think they use it for um to castrate animals i think i'm not sure um anyway so i'm just filling the um bubble balloon with my feathers i'm using pink feathers in this case um some some of you would want to know the weight of the feathers i'm using to be honest i'm not weighing this because it's not going to be helium filled it's going to be air filled so i'm not going to be worrying about the lift if it was going to be helium filled then i would worry about the amount of feathers i put into the balloon because the weight of the feathers could actually bring down the balloon when helium filled um so right now i think i've um added enough feathers because it's just a tutorial it's not like it's going to a client so i am just going to like fill it with just that much feathers i don't have to fill it with too much um so once you filled your feathers into the bubble balloon then you would open the neck and carefully inflate it might be tricky for you because the feathers could try and like run out like it's doing in my case here so next you get your 260q to tie off the bubble balloon you wrap it around several times before you tie it off tightly close to the neck of the balloon because you don't want to lose the air you've inflated the balloon with if you do not tie your bubble balloon right or your deco bu bubble balloon right it will be an issue for you if you want to see how i tie my deco bubbles and instructions on how you should tie this properly check my video on 
deco bubble balloon link will be in the description so next you would get your magzi 2 cup this cup i'm putting at the neck of the balloon is called a magzi 2 cup it is really strong and sturdy it's not flimsy whatever size of bubble or decor you put on it it would stay straight and then you just put it on the stick you've in you've placed into the flower box once you've done that you get your ribbon whatever color you're going to be using so that you can create the hot hair effect you put it over the balloon and then you get your hot hair glue gone and then you glue it to the side of the hat box and then you take it over the bubble balloon measure before you cut off measure the extent yeah the length you can see i'm trying to check or else it wouldn't be long enough and then you glue it with your hot hair hot melt blue um sorry your hot melt glue gun sorry guys i'm stuttering <laughs> um so just make sure it's tight over the bubble balloon then you glue it with your hot melt glue gun and it stays in place so you could actually leave it this way if you wanted you know with just one ribbon going over or you could have a four-way ribbon going over the balloon it just depends on the look you're going for it all depends on you some people would like bring the ribbon from the bottom and then tie it over the bubble balloon that looks pretty also so you could just you know wing it do it whatever way you think would look beautiful and you're good to go so next after i've put the ribbon over the other side um, the next thing I do is just to fill the flowers into um, the floral form in the base. So I'm using artificial flowers for this. Um, they are um, adrangers. You could use roses, you could use, I prefer um, flowers that look really like not too loud. Um, I know some people just use a mix of flowers. I personally do not like that look. I prefer using the same, you know, set of colors, um, not using just random shop bought flowers, but you know, it all depends on what the client is paying for really. Um, so yeah, just add in your flowers and it's ready. So I added a bit of extra touch to this one. I decided to add um, some butterflies. So also remember the cup area, you need to cover it. You don't want to leave it, you know, open. So just tie a, a ribbon. I'm not really good at tying ribbons, but I, I, I try my best. Um, you could buy pre-made ribbons. Um, you could also like learn how to do this properly on YouTube. I'm sure there are loads of videos that would help you tie a ribbon without any stress. And you just glue it to where the cup is. So I'm just going to stick on my butterflies to the top of the balloon using colors that would, you know, that would go with the whole arrangement. So once you've done all of that, your hot hair balloon is ready to be delivered. So guys, thank you for joining me once again. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hot hair balloons are a big rave at the moment. Um, someone will love this for valentine so you could make it for your friends you can make it for your clients please remember to drop a comment tell me what you think about this tutorial i would love to read from you if you haven't subscribed please remember to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you same time next week thank you guys bye